Good morning, everybody. This is Perry Dunn from Wild Finish. Just wanted to show you how the wall looked that I'm about to put in place. I got the window in and everything, and now I'm going to take this wall and put it in place over here. This is our exterior wall. And right over here, right here, I put a little slope on the wood going down, so if any water come, it'll drip out. It won't sit there. And the wall is going to go right here. Now they had this siding much bigger. That means the wall, I mean the window was bigger than they had, you know, previously, I guess, up here. So you had the opening. So a uh, little insight for the owner, have to get your roof done. This is rot all the way across your edge. I gotta take this wood right here out so I put the wall up. But as you can see, all this wood back here is rotted. So your roof had to be done. This had to be redone from up top. You can see that it's dry rotted or like termites or whatever. So this is bad wood. But they want to close it up, so I'm going to close it up. As you can see, that wood right there is no good. The ship was only three on one, two, three. It need to be replaced. I'm not doing it. Okay, so I will inform them before I close it off. But I will put the wall up in place so we can stop this air from coming in. I'm going to open long enough. <clears throat> I'm going to put the rest of the, uh, some more wrap around the window. Got to finish that off. I can't put the house wrap on because I guess they just want this wall up. So I'm going to put it up now. I'm going to close all the rest of this off. And it's going to put certification. Say you will put your house wrap on and take it from there. So that's how that looks. This is a bathroom window that's already done. This is four feet. And the rest of this right here from this edge over is 12. So we have a 12 foot wall right here. Going to place right there. Then once I do that, I'll build a wall here to separate. So I got this sitting here for right now. And then once I do that, I'll put a new box and rewire that. Cause that wasn't even wide, right? And they had two prongs. Just like over there had two prongs. That great core right there is your other outlet. I put all the certified sockets and everything together. And then I put our toilet back here. Once I put this board down, which stops water. And so I'll use this board, cement board. Use this for uh any wet areas like your bathroom kitchen but uh once i get this wall in i'll come back and show you more and close everything else off i have my crew here today we'll pull, push this wall in place we'll move this one post here we'll move this we're gonna move it down towards the middle right there to get that extra support lift right there because it's see right there it's drooping down a little bit so we'll give it extra support right here so we can put this wall in and then we'll let that jack down and take our post shoring out of here and replay and take them back because we're renting them that's like three hundred dollars for all four posts plus the jack for just two weeks so that's a good price for two weeks but still it's been here, all, we already had these posts for like three months because I had to do downstairs, the basement, everything. Gotta lift it up, start from the bottom, coming to the top. So I'll be back with y'all shortly. Show y'all the finished work. And y'all have a good, blessed day. I'll see y'all shortly.